business is more trusted than government and more trusted than media. But where it falls down is really about delivering on commitments. And nothing undermines trust more than statements with no substance. So clear statements of intention ought to be made, whether it's on climate change, targets, gender, race, um, race equality, or the way that they support employees or support the community. Business needs to be open about what it's trying to achieve. The most recent Trust Barometer report published by Edelman came out today, that's 3rd February, and business is more trusted than government and more trusted than media. But where it falls down is really about delivering on commitments. And nothing undermines trust more than statements with no substance. So clear statements of intention ought to be made, whether it's on climate change, targets, gender, race, um, race equality, or the way that they support employees or support the community. Business needs to be open about what it's trying to achieve. And what was also really interesting from the report, um, and I've only seen the headline so far, is that uh, the public, you know, consumers are not fooled by marketing speak. So if the commitments are not um, with any substance, they're just marketing tools, um, the public can see through that. So business should um, I- express commitments openly Um, make the ambitions plain and make the ambitions um, and and, and aims against an express specific timeline so that it's really obvious that you intend to deliver within a a time frame and whether you have done or not will be easy to gauge. And uh, so carry out an analysis so that you can establish a baseline. Don't be embarrassed if the outcome is poor initially, that's okay, it's fine if you just declare that it's not where one would want to be, um, but we're setting out a plan for improvement. And that's really better than concealment. And so in other words, it's a question of treating consumers respectfully. But, um, you know, it really is interesting to me that that government has fallen so dramatically in terms of trust. And um, again, that's about delivery and it's it's about integrity. And on on those, scales and also on the scale of competence, business is ahead of, of, of government and way ahead of the media. The impact on reputation and asset value of, of companies um, that when, that when they failed with regard to social responsibility is huge. And even as I speak today, Spotify's debacle with um, uh, Neil Young and Joni Mitchell, because they chose not to deal immediately with misinformation, has caused a 20% drop in their share value. So there's a direct correlation. And the internet and social media makes it so transparent and the news travels really quickly about poor behaviour. And society's changed. Post-pandemic, people want better from business in terms of pay conditions, social support and action to create positive change. And post COP26, people want delivery of better climate change improvement targets and within a shorter time frame. And investors are making really active um, statements uh, about what they want in terms of um, greater responsibility from company directors. So all of those should incentivize. Um, and, and I think that young people in particular are now making it very clear that they understand what the deficits are and they're much less tolerant than my generation were. So if employment and HR processes are bad, or um, if um, uh, there's not enough support um, for um, growth and development, uh, that they will just walk or they won't they won't apply. So if you want to recruit from the widest pool of up and coming talent, you need to have sound values and be clear about what the purpose is as a business, what the, that, that your business has an understanding of its wider social purpose. Um, and so you need to show how you're going to manage or mitigate those. I think the young people's um, responses are so incentivizing. And then investors are increasingly looking at data and they want to see a management structure and a board structure that's clear about its, uh, and a board that's clear about its responsibilities. And that has proper oversight of accountabilities so that short termism won't be a winner. I think um, there's sort of four words or four points really that sort of 
encapsulate how I would like to see business operating. I would say proactively, collaboratively, responsibly, and in listening mode. So just sort of unpacking that slightly proactively and not reactively. So that, for example, with regard to reskilling and um, allowing workforces to be suitably flexible to cope with the fast changing environment. They have to be plans for that. There have, has to be an understanding of how you're going to be able to redeploy people. Um, and the same, same with um, responses to um, climate change, proactive, not reactive. Collaboratively, collaboratively with educators like universities and colleges, collaboratively with local and central government, because what um, is, is very apparent is that no one entity can deal with the massive problems that we now face on their own. Responsibly looking to the future, um, creating, creating a greater awareness of where their decisions are going to have massive impact on employees, on communities, on the environment. So responsibly. And then in listening mode with their key stakeholders, how is it impacting on you? At least for me, have a dialogue so that we understand better what we can do better. So that's it. Yes, proactively, collaboratively, responsibly and in listening mode.